know what happened, but I think I overshot my optimal flirting status. Hello, sparrows! So you're probably like, Brandy, what? But like, hear me out, okay? I'm an awkward duckling. Always have been. This awkwardness is probably most noticeable when I'm trying to flirt. Notice how I said trying. And when I say, I think I overshot my optimal flirting status. I mean, I think flirting was easiest for me when I was like five. You know, flirting and falling in love without the fear of rejection. I like you. I like you too. At five, I just said how I felt. But of course, like most things, flirting got harder the older I got. So I resorted to new tactics like hiding behind notes. school time was probably the worst. But then I realized that I could get my friends to do the dirty work for me. Hey Dakota. Hey. So, um, is there anyone like you have a crush on or anything? Like, I just, I'm just wondering, um, cause I was just curious, like, you know, like in my friend group, maybe? Like not me of course, but like, um, I mean like, Brandy. Trust me, secondhand rejection hurts way less than rejection straight to your face. And then of course there was 16. Hi, Dakota! Hey. Hey. Yeah, not too proud of that one. That is probably why I turned into such a bro my first few years of college. Oh. In your face! Damn it. God. <laughs> You're such a bro. <sighs> yeah. Bro. Hey. Okay. I mean, hey, at least I was hanging out with the guys. Now that I'm basically 22, I feel like my flirting tactics have come full circle. God, I can't believe you're quitting. You know, we gotta hang out when you're when you're gone, okay? We gotta hang out, like, a weekly hangout. You know, like, once a week, you and me, going to dinner, seeing a movie. You know, we can just call it a date. The biggest problem with that is that because I'm so naturally sarcastic, everyone thinks that anything that comes out of my mouth is a joke, including and especially when I'm blatantly flirting or asking someone else. So yeah, I'm hoping that I can just dial it back a little bit, but I'm really worried that I'm gonna have to go back through all the stages to get it just right. That's gonna suck. But what about you guys? What is the most embarrassing flirting technique you've ever used? Did anyone else ever do the do you like me check yes or no no? No, just me and teen movies. Okay, cool. Okay, Melosaurus, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already. And while we're at it, I would just like to take a second to say thank you. Thank you for getting me to 500 subscribers. It was honestly the best birthday present I could have gotten. I seriously cannot tell you guys how thankful I am for each and every one of you. And I wanna give a quick little shout out to my friend Tiffany for helping me get to this goal. She didn't think I'd give her the shout out, so I'm giving her the shout out. Bam, it happened. Okay, my listeners, I love you guys so, so, so much. I hope you have a great day, a great week, and I will see you soon. Bye!